Okay, let's see. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, waiting title plus tricky guy. of the you know Albin Kelns gamut is a bit of a low rated IM relative to other IMs on the five minute auto pairing. This could be my big chance to redeem myself this morning. Uh, I hope. For, de for taking her structurally, that looks also queen b2, uh, queen b2, rook b1, bishop d2, knight b2, just bishop g4, I think. Structurally, this isn't that brilliant. Of the rooks, etc. Um, put this E3 under pressure. Okay, let's get the king a little bit safer. Okay, it's so a queen b2 or something else. Um, actually, he's threatening bishop g5, so better do something about that. Is my king going to be really attacked? I'm going to just play bishop b6 after. Ah. Hmm. Alright, time to uh, hit the dark squares, I think. Ninety five <clears throat> Bishop E five, maybe Bishop E five for ninety four. So I'm eyeing H two. Um ninety four. Okay, can I just double on the default here? I can let him double my pawns, I think. Hopefully that's... there's a lot of pressure here, on default. Bishop c3, rook d1, oh, he's got bishop g1. Play this then. Queen c4 here, oh, he's got uh, coming up with um, queen e3. Uh oh. Um, okay, king has to make a run for it soon. Uh, 
Okay, um, where Queen A2, Queen E3, Kings, Rook moves, then check King C8. Um, Rook D2 for something like Queen G4. I think I need to get my King out of here. Pronto. How? <laughs> Uh, rook d2, queen e3. I think, um, somehow evacuate like this. Um, We'll see five hit nope, that's that's terrible. Okay, um preempt that so queen takes king there, king d seven. It's done look brilliant, it's gonna be sad, but this might be queen g four if if I cover f seven. It's king e7 here, possible. So I've still got queen g4 on the cards. Uh, queen c5, rook d6. This one, um, queen g4 in. <clears throat> Okay, it's bishop d6 anyway. Actually, I don't have to lose the bishop on queen c5. Um, right. Queen h4 here. G3, hang on, G3, what about Rook D1, just nasty pin, uh, for a moment, and then Queen H4 later. Actually I'm threatening, if he moves the Rook, maybe Rook takes. Queen C5 is always looking dangerous here. Huh? Well, he's giving me a nice pin. Uh, Queen H4, G3, then G is. Uh, what about Bishop H2? Nope. Hmm. Time to try and grab this pawn, uh, I think. If I can. Change of plan. I'll take on C3 here as well. So Bishop D4, it's Rook G2. Right. What's Bishop D4 here? So, uh, right, let's think about this. Why just. I don't know. Just repeat moves for a sec. Nope, that wasn't the best idea. Ah, oh, no. C5, no idea. Okay, now I'm on rook a7. Hold on a second, there's a bit of hope here. Does he take? Okay, okay. Alright, get the rook. 
work over maybe H, uh, for G4. Okay, nope. What about root G4? Um, got my pass pawn. He's a bit short on time. Too short in time, I think. Probably explains it's not brilliant on the five minute. Um, wow, <laughs> just I don't know if I'm I'm a bit low on confidence right now. I was getting duffed out this morning, but uh, that was that was near breaking point. That position, I just allowing double pawns. I don't know if that's a trait of uh, <laughs> something to allow double pawns freely. I don't know. It's it's very very dangerous because of a7, as as demonstrated, very very dangerous. If I just play queen e6, it's much safer. Surely it's still a little double here. I don't know about e6. Just trying to undermine. Maybe just b6 here. Possibly rook to d6 is better than um, in this position without rook to d6. So a6, b6. This is a nice blockade. This was a good position there, but with the double pawns, I was going downhill. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.